Hi, I'm Sherry, and this is Gardening in the North. So we're currently editing a video where I'm showing you how to make homemade onion powder. And in that video, I show you a jar of my version of sun-dried tomatoes. And so I thought I would bring you it to the garden and show you some of the varieties that I'm putting into my sun-dried tomatoes. Before I do that, I want you to take a look at this nine-foot mammoth sunflower. Pretty cool, right? So I know you're not going to be able to see it. The quality of the video isn't going to be that great to really zoom in, but there is a pollinator right now on the sunflower. Super cool. So I want you to come this way with me and I want you to look at my 12 foot sunflower. How cool is this? 12 feet. So this whole row of tomato plants that I have here, these were tomato plants that I had left over from all my seedlings. I planted too many, too many seeds, so I got too many seedlings, I tried to give some away, and um, these were the ones that I couldn't give to anybody. And so I'm of the mind that, you know, I put a lot of effort into growing these seedlings, and so I didn't want to just kill them. Um, so I found space for them. So we have a, a few varieties here um, that, we, that we're using in our sun-dried tomatoes. And oh no, Wesley, look at this. There's hornworm damage. So you can see the branches here don't have any leaves. And so usually the hornworms will hide. And, and if you haven't seen a hornworm before, oh no, look at this, Wesley. Look at this little guy here. Oh, he's far from home. So if you haven't seen a hornworm before, they are the color of the tomato plants and they will destroy your tomato plant in a matter of days. So this is a little bit concerning to me that I see this. Um, and so for those of you that don't know a lot about the hornworms, they are a host for the Braconid wasp. And I think I might have pronounced that right, the Braconid wasp. So they actually lay their eggs in the backs of these hornworms. And when the eggs hatch, they eat part of that hornworm. They hatch out and then they go hunting for more hornworms. So when you're looking for the hornworms that are doing this damage on your plant, you really have to take in consideration do they have the little white spots on their backs? And if they do, those are eggs. And so do you leave the hornworm on the plant to finish off that plant? Hopefully only that plant so that when the wasp hatches, they can go out and hunt for the rest of them. Or do you remove it and hope that you've removed all of the, the hornworms? It's a decision that you have to make. So come with me. I'm going to show you some of the varieties that I put into my sun-dried tomatoes and um, show you how I make it. Oh no, look at this. There's another one. <gasps> so the idea for this video was to really walk you through some of the varieties of tomatoes that I'm using in my sun-dried tomatoes. And I think that the video is going to take a turn um, and that's kind of how gardening is, right? So you come out, you have a plan to do something in your garden, whether that is to, you know, harvest one thing or trim back, prune something else and you notice something else and it kind of takes you on a different path. And so if I show you this plant as well, you will see that there is hornworm damage here and along the back side of it. And so this is really concerning for me. It tells me that I have a problem with hornworms and that we're gonna have to come back out here tonight with our black light and try to find them. Okay, so in the earlier video, when I was hoping to show you some of our tomato varieties and um, talk a little bit about my version of sun-dried tomatoes, and I use quote sun-dried, um, we noticed that there was some hornworm damage on some of our tomato plants and decided that there was just a bit too much for us to leave it. So we're out here, we're gonna check the first plant that we saw some damage and see if we find any. So come with us. 
Okay, look at that. It's hiding right in amongst, I don't know if I can focus it any better. It is hiding in and amongst my tomatoes. Oh my Lord. Okay, so we're gonna have to pick this one off. I don't see, I see white lines, but that's kind of the design of it. I don't see any of the larva. Oh my God, I can't get it. Oh my God, it's so nasty. Oh. Oh my God, Wesley, it's moving. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh. Nasty thing. Nasty. Oh, I can't get it. It's like it's right on there. Okay, let me. I need bigger tongs, is what I need. Right there. Do you see one? Right there. Hold on, I'm coming over. Right there. On the bottom of this little branch thing. See it? Okay guys, so we probably checked about 23 plants and we caught 15 hornworms in total. Take a look.